So the latest rounds in the news are talking about how it's more likely now that the coronavirus got released from a lab. Whether that was accidental or deliberate, we don't know. Whether it was a bioweapon or just some kind of gain-of-function research where they are trying to make these viruses contagious to human beings just for the benefit of mankind, just in case something does come around in nature and then they'll know better how to handle it because they've already run all the tests on it. Whatever the case is, if it was a bioweapon, any kind of a virus that has the capacity to infect between 40% and 70% of Americans, like was predicted early in 2020 by a, a Harvard University researcher, if I created a bomb and strapped it underneath an aircraft, and that I dropped that bomb, and that bomb could reach out and touch between 40% and 70% of Americans, I think that would be the greatest, most terrifying bomb that anybody has ever created uh, to get to the level of this damn thing. If we can believe what we're being told, of course, it's probably true is that our collective reaction to the virus is between 10 and 100 times worse than the virus itself. Going back to the narrative that we have been listening to for the past year, even when the mainstream media was mocking Trump in 2020, Dr. Fauci really gave it to Donald Trump. Okay, well, what was that all about? Donald Trump was actually floating the idea that this was a, a lab leak, that this was a man-made virus. It's like, why do these Democrats coddle China all the time? It's really bizarre. It goes all the way back to the Clinton administration in the 90s. I don't know what the hell it is about Democrats in China that they hand them over the keys to the farm. Whatever the hell the Chinese want, the Chinese will get if these Democrats have anything to do about it. That's a tangent. I digress. If this virus is natural, if this virus is zoonotic, like they have been telling us it has been ever since this pandemic began, we have been getting told that it came from a Chinese wet market in the Wuhan province. It came from a, a market where all kinds of species are slammed together in one place, in one tiny area, they stack cage on top of cage on top of cage with different species living right on top of each other. And it's very easy to, for cross-contamination to occur. So a bat's going to take a shit. It's going to take a shit on the monkey. The monkey's going to pick up the shit and fling it at the fish. And then somebody's going to buy the fish. Didn't cook it well enough. Whatever. The next thing you know, people are getting sick. Maybe the guy who went to that market and bought the food was the same guy that worked at, in the lab in Wuhan. Now let's just speculate that. After all, this wet market is right down the street from the laboratory. But if that narrative is true, and they have tried so damn hard for so damn long to convince us that it is true, and if you don't believe that this is a zoonotic, that this is a naturally uh, occurring uh, contagion that all of a sudden just spilled into the human species from some unknown animal, then you're some kind of a kooky dukes. If they were telling the truth, and if they're correct, and if they were right all along, all this time, telling us that it came from a, a wet market, then why in the hell was nobody asking about what steps China is taking to prevent this type of contagion from ever happening again? As a matter of policy, were changes made, were safeguards put in place, were policies established, were laws written in China uh, to prevent this kind of a horror to prevent this kind of a nightmare that supposedly killed millions and millions of people from ever happening again? Why weren't our legislators? Why weren't our administrators? Why weren't our leaders, anybody from our country, even the least bit interested? Nobody asked them. Nobody put China on the hook and said, hey, it's an accident if it, if it slipped through the wet market somehow and got stuck to us. If that's what happened, then you need to be responsible for what you do from that point forward. You need to take incredible steps to prevent this kind of thing from ever happening again and how they're organized and where these different species are placed and was there any of that? I mean, where was Dr. Fauci and Dr. Birx? They should have been marching down the street in Wuhan province looking and observing at what changes were made to these wet markets to prevent this from ever happening again. Were they doing that? Did anybody ever even bring this up? Nobody asked this question. The whole time we're supposed to believe this rot nonsense, nobody 
questions. Nobody holds anybody accountable. Nobody gets punished for it. Nobody gets fired for it. Nobody gets executed for it. Nobody gets imprisoned for it. Nobody gets a pay cut for it. Nobody pays any kind of a price whatsoever for this. That what the hell is China doing to keep this from ever happening again? That should have been the first question and the, the number one priority on everybody's minds. That if that's what you fucking believe and you're going to keep shoving that narrative down all of our throats to make us believe it too, I'm not going to even think that, well, maybe this was man-made, that maybe this escaped from a lab. I'm going to stick with the same bullshit narrative that we've been hearing for the past 16 months. And I'm going to ask, where is the accountability there? Where is the liability there? Who has paid the price and what changes have you made? I've never heard a goddamn thing. I've never heard anybody ask the question. I've never heard of anybody doing a damn thing about it from either the United States or from China. And that's pathetic and gross and disgusting. And it makes me think that these rat bastards, Dr. Fauci, Burks, and all the rest of these clowns didn't really believe the words that were falling out of their mouths all year long. They didn't really think that it was zoonotic, that it came from the wet market, because they didn't have any thought process about these markets and about what China does next. Their mind was somewhere else. It was more on cover-up. It was more on, let's lie while we're under oath. Let's perjure ourselves under oath while we're testifying before Congress that we weren't involved in any gain-of-function research. We didn't contribute. We don't have 11 labs over the in the United States right now that are that are funding gain-of-function research. We never sent money over to this other lab uh, to do such research as that. And yet, just it was almost like hours after this virus was announced. It was like mere days after this virus was sprung upon us when everybody thought that we were going to die in March of 2020, that they already knew about this spike protein. They already knew. What I do care about <clears throat> is the obvious and deliberate uh, deceit and deception uh, that Fauci said under oath to, to Dr. Rand Paul and, and other others under oath, he's lying through his teeth. His answers aren't consistent. He's going against a scientific consensus of over 200 other scientists where he's saying that they're wrong and that he's right. Now all of a sudden, a couple more weeks goes by, he gets steamrolled. He gets bulldozed by the consensus flattening him like a pancake. Now he has to come out and say, well, you know, I'm not sure there it might be. This guy is covering for something. This guy is trying to cover his ass. He's already perjured himself. He shouldn't be leading the coronavirus task force. He shouldn't be involved in this at all anymore. He has disgraced himself. I tried to defend this, this nut job last year over the masks, uh, which is just a nothing burger compared to this. But now when he's testifying under oath and he's lying to the American people and the Congress and everybody else, that is a crime. That's a crime under U.S. law. Is he going to get prosecuted for that crime? Is anybody going to go to jail? Is anybody going to lose their job? Is anybody going to pay for this? You know, if we've been starting wars my entire lifetime in this country. We're always starting wars on another country for one piss-ass reason after another. Here we have a reason that's actually a pretty damn good reason to go to war against somebody, and that somebody is China, somebody that can defend itself. You want to have World War III? And again, it's not so much the how dangerous the virus is and how many people the virus has killed, really killed. Not just getting wrapped up in the statistics and they're, they're telling us how many people this virus has killed. How many people that the virus has really killed? In reality, in truth, if we knew that correct number, if we knew the exact number of how many people did this virus really killed, they should be on the hook for that, and their punishment should be proportional to the amount of death and damage to our health, in a lot of cases permanent damage to our health, that this nightmare has caused. All the rest of the damage, all of the subsequent damage that has been caused to our society, to our culture, economy, to our belief systems, to our ability to live like human beings and enjoy our lives and hug our grandparents and go to church and worship and speak out on the internet about our experiences with this virus and about our experiences with the with the vaccinations too. Now we have the CDC saying that they're not going to even look at any uh, vaccine adverse reactions anymore that people are going to uh, uh, post on their on their VAERS reporting system. They're not even going to look at that. They're only going to look at deaths and hospitalizations. So 
they're covering it up too. They're burying the, they're, they're not even going to keep up with the numbers anymore. They don't even care what the numbers are. They don't care how many people get hurt by this vaccine unless they wind up in the hospital or dead. So we'll never know. There's a big cover-up going on here in more ways than one. They're covering up for the pharmaceutical companies with the vaccine. They're covering up for China, and they're probably covering their own asses because they had their grubby nubbies in this, in this pie too. They've got dirty hands in all of this too, and their true motive on why to, to uh, cover this up and why to lie under oath is to cover their own ass. If Dr. Fauci is trying to cover his own ass, we need to know exactly why. We need to put the investigation out on him and his colleagues and others like him, even the people that are in the labs, that are in U.S. labs, that are getting U.S. financing, that are doing research on, on gain of function right now, they need to be looked at. We need to look at what the hell is going on here before it happens again. If it came from the market, you need to have steps in place. You need to have a protocol. Of, of prevention so this never happens again zoonotically through the wet market if this happened in a lab and it got leaked through the lab you need to have new protocols that established whether it's in the uh, policy level or or it's law written by congress to prevent this from ever happening again